Hello friends, this video on chemical coordination and integration part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will try to understand, now that we are clear about the hormone receptors, we can very easily understand how hormone works. Now the first thing that they do is hormones bind to specific risk hormone receptors. Now the hormones are being carried by the blood. So wherever their receptors are present, whenever they see their hormones, they will tend to attract them and then they will bind to them. So hormones and the receptors will bind together and they will form hormone receptor complex. So you see, this is the hormone, this is the receptor, they will bind together. So let us suppose this is the target cell. So this one is the target cell which has a receptor like this. So whenever the hormone, there are many hormones which are flowing through the blood, but whenever it sees a hormone for which it is specific, it will tend to bind to that hormone. So as a result, hormone receptor complex is formed. So this structure which is formed when the hormone combines with the receptor that is known as hormone receptor complex. Now what happens when the hormone receptor complex is formed after that biochemical changes start taking place in the target tissue. So this is the target tissue. Now as soon as this complex is formed it will start bringing on bringing in changes inside this tissues and a biochemical changes will take place. Biochemical changes means changes in the form of reactions, chemical reactions will start taking place inside the target tissue. So let us take an example. Let us suppose we are talking of the growth hormone. Now the growth hormone will bind to its receptors which are present outside the cells. Now once it forms the growth uh, hormone receptor complex what will happen? A lot of chemical changes will start taking place inside the cells which will result in a physiological change and what is the physiological change? That is growth. So that growth will happen due to the chemical changes which are taking place inside each cell. So these chemical changes are introduced due to the formation of the hormone receptor complex. So now there are two ways by which hormone receptor complex can be formed. Now as I said receptors also can be two types. Now if the receptor is a membrane bound receptors then how will the hormone combine with that with that membrane bound receptors. Now there are some hormones which do not enter inside the target cell at all. They will never enter inside the target tissue. So what will they do? They will just interact with the membrane bound receptors. As soon as they combine with the membrane bound receptors, the hormone receptor complex will be formed and second messengers are generated. So this complex will not enter inside or the hormone will not enter inside. Some second messengers will get generated and those second messengers will regulate the uh, activities which are taking place inside the target cell or those second messenger will bring about the biochemical changes inside the target tissue. So here second messengers will be generated and the second messengers will control the metabolism in target cells. So that means the hormone itself does not enter inside the cell but it, uh, produce, it creates second messengers which control the metabolism in the cells. Now what if the receptors are intracellular? In that case the hormone doesn't have a choice. It has to enter inside. Now if the receptor itself is present here, then the hormone cannot bind to this target tissue outside. It has to enter inside, right? So in that case what will happen in case of intracellular receptors? The hormones will enter the target cell. So in that case this hormone will enter the target cell. And then the hormone receptor complex will be formed inside the target cell and inside now once the hormone receptor complex has formed inside the target cell. So inside the cell you have all the cell organelles right. So it will directly impact the chromosome function that is the chromosomes will be present inside the cell you have the nucleus, you will have the chromosome, you will have the gene, everything you have. So it will directly affect or directly it will impact the chromosome or the gene. So that is how it will bring about biochemistry changes in the target tissue. So there were two ways. One way is it will just remain outside combined with the membrane bound receptors and then second messengers will be generated which will take care of the uh, metabolism inside the cells. The other way is it will enter inside itself, the hormone will itself enter inside the target cells combined with the receptors and then control the chromosome function and that is how bring about a change. 
right so this is the basic concept of how a hormone works now we will take example of some hormones to see how they work so let us take one example of a protein hormone one protein hormone would be fsh like follicle stimulating hormone so let us see how follicle stimulating hormone works so here also it will first bind to the membrane bound receptor which is present on the cell membrane of the ovary so let us see how the fsh works so this hormone bound, binds to its receptor which is a membrane bound receptor that means the receptor is present on the cell membrane of ovary because follicle stimulating hormone this hormone who releases this hormone this hormone is released by anterior pituitary but which is its target organ its target organ is ovary why because follicle stimulating hormone actually helps in the growth and development of the follicles in the ovary right so that is the purpose of this fsh so its target organ is ovary now the receptor is present on the cell membrane of the ovary so what will happen the hormone will bind to the receptor and hormone receptor complex will be formed correct after that what will happen since it is a membrane bound receptor therefore the hormone will not enter inside rather second messenger will be generated and these second messengers will then result in biochemical changes inside the ovary biochemical changes means a lot of chemical changes which will actually gradually change so many things so many processes inside the ovary and this will result in the ovarian growth so as i said inside the follicles will start to develop and grow so everything is chemical reactions right because in everything inside our body is made up of chemicals end of the day they are all either made up of proteins or those kind of things proteins amino acids and all those things so everything needs chemical changes so once that chemical changes start taking place the ovarian growth occurs so this is how we can demonstrate it let us suppose this is the follicle stimulating hormone which was released by the pituitary gland so this hormone reaches i mean it travels through the blood only when it sees the receptors which are present only on the ovarian membrane they will bind to them so hormone receptor complex will be formed the, therefore a second a third message a second messenger will be generated so the second messenger can be anything like uh, calcium ions or cyclic amp these are the structures which act as second messengers these second messengers will result in biochemical responses which in turn will result in physiological responses right so this is how fsh works similarly let us look at another steroid hormones function like the estrogen so how estrogen works so estrogen is the female hormone which is being produced by the ovaries so what so which is its uh, uh, what to say the target organ because this actually impacts all the female sex organs as you saw so one of its target organ would be the uterus right so uterus is the target organ and the receptors for estrogen they are intracellular receptors that means they are present inside the uterus so in this case what will happen the estrogen the hormone will enter inside the uterus and then it will combine to this receptor to form hormone receptor com complex and once this is formed it will affect the chromosome or the gene inside the uterus i mean inside the uterus in the sense inside the cells of the uterus so it will affect the chromosome or the gene of each cell and as a result physiological changes will occur somewhat like this let us suppose this is the hormone estrogen the, which is secreted by the ovary but the target organ being the uterus so this is the uterus cell membrane and if you see here on the cell membrane you do not have any receptors rather the receptor is present here the so here if you see this structure which you see here is the receptor so hormone receptor complex is formed now this hormone receptor complex enters inside the nucleus where you have the chromosomes and the genes and then it directly affects the genes so when it affects the genes what happens i mean chromosome is all about the sequence of proteins right so if you change the sequence means it will result in genetic changes so that means it will actually impact here and it will there will be physiological responses in the form of tissue growth and differentiation so that is how growth of the uterus will take place and that was one of the functions of the estrogen right that it helps in growth and development of all the female sexual organs so this is how the hormones actually work inside our body so i hope that is clear thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test 
get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.